Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. And guys, I got some really cool stuff I want to talk to you about. And this has to do with the next generation of Nintendo's hardware because we have the full officially translated Q&A from their financial report provided by Nintendo themselves. So no more relying on other people translating. This is from the big N and they do talk about a couple things in regarding to next gen hardware. We talked about yesterday some stuff that Miyamoto said. We're going to go back over it just in case there's a little discrepancies. But then we're also going to end up hopping right into some stuff that somebody else at Nintendo said that is crazy. And then we're going to discuss these things, well, after we go over it. Before we do, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. And hey guys, you know what? I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, eWin Racing. eWin Racing provides amazing desks and office chair-like products for your pleasure, ranging from the $230 all the way up to $450 price range. They have ongoing sales right now for Thanksgiving. And if you use Discount code Nintendo Prime, capital N, capital P, no spaces. You can get an additional 20% off your order. It'd be sweet if you go check out our Ewin Racing link down in the description below. All right, now that we're done with the sponsor stuff, let's get right into, first off, what Miyamoto said. So the question reads as this. You previously acknowledged the challenge in the dedicated video game platform business when the hardware generation changes. The previous software is no longer playable on the new hardware, necessitating a start from scratch. However, by utilizing Nintendo account or maintaining backwards compatibility on new hardware, it now seems possible for content to endure across hardware generations, similar to how visual content is treated. I think there are both advantages and disadvantages to having newly launched hardware maintain backwards compatibility with previous hardware. But what kind of internal discussions have you had about the subject? And Shigeru Miyamoto, who is the representative director fellow, said the following. In the past, we built a service called Virtual Console as a way for players to enjoy classic games on more modern hardware. In terms of compatibility, visual content has an advantage because it can be enjoyed continuously as long as you have a playback environment. However, legal rights for visual content can become quite complicated. So I have mentioned before that Nintendo is proceeding with visual content from a firm grip on the rights. Previously, software development for dedicated video game systems was conducted in development environments dedicated to each hardware platform. This meant that those environments could not be brought forward when the new hardware changed, and it would become impossible to play software released for previous hardware without making changes. However, the software development environments have recently been gradually integrated, so generally speaking, it has become easier to implement an environment where software released for past hardware can be played on new hardware. Having said so, Nintendo's strength is in our creation of new entertainment. So, when we release new hardware going forward, we plan to continue to offer new and unique gameplay that cannot be realized on existing hardware. So, obviously, this really just confirms exactly what we talked about yesterday. Backwards compatibility seems to be all but confirmed for whatever Nintendo has coming next. I think that's absolutely incredible. Uh, the question was about backwards compatibility. His response was, hey, look, in the past, this was much more difficult to do. And yes, Nintendo's had backwards compatibility before, but how they handled it was actually putting chips that were basically the old system on the new system. Kind of inconvenient. This seems like it'll be native backwards compatibility, which is so much better than like what we got on Wii U when you had a reboot in the Wii mode. What a pain. So yes, this is absolutely incredible. This is what everybody wants. But that wasn't the only mention of new hardware from Nintendo. Kishioto actually said something as well, and we need to get into that too. So the question that prompted this response says, the proximity between consumers and Nintendo is now closer through Nintendo account and Nintendo Switch Online. And I think it has become easier than before to see things like user activity in games. Do you think this kind of information will affect the development of software on the next generation platform? So first up, Shinya Takahashi, again, this is about the next generation platform, says, tools like social media provide us with opportunities for feedback from consumers and we receive a variety of information. Although we cannot adopt all of the input as they are, we need to always pay attention to how people respond to our games and then think about how we entertain them as we proceed with development. 
We want to develop products that are fun for consumers while also enjoying the development process, exploring what kinds of interesting things are possible, including new initiatives for Nintendo Switch Online. So this comes from Shinya Takahashi, the director and senior managing executive officer. And then next up, we have Koshiota. He is a director and ex senior executive officer as well. And he responded by saying, in the Nintendo Switch generation, it feels like we have gotten closer to our consumers via Nintendo account. I think an integrated hardware software business that captures the spirit of Nintendo will continue to be central to many of the activities that spring from the strategy described in today's briefing. The most important thing with our dedicated video game platform is to deliver a unique gaming experience. In our development for both hardware and software going forward, we must consider ways to more easily connect our core video game business with the consumer experiences outside of our dedicated video game platform through Nintendo account. We are not at a stage where we can talk about the next generation platform, but we think it is most important to create unique, integrated hardware software products. The activities we leverage through Nintendo account should be well connected to those products. So a couple things get confirmed in this response. First off, it seems that Nintendo account, that's carrying forward. They're not gonna replace it. Remember, Nintendo had a different account system before. Now they have Nintendo account. They're gonna stick with Nintendo account. That's being carried forward, not just on mobile phones and other ways, but it's, you know, there are theme parks you could probably use Nintendo account at, but on future hardware. It also seems like there was an emphasis there on Nintendo Switch Online as being something that they're gonna bring forward as well. So that would mean things like the, the NES, the SNES, the N64, the Genesis, maybe the DLC, all that stuff might be carried forward with Nintendo Switch Online, and Nintendo Switch Online is called Nintendo Switch Online, which kind of infers the next platform would be something along what the Nintendo Switch is, since it's using the Nintendo Switch Online service. So, I don't know, you guys take this for what you will. All I know is Nintendo seems to be much more open and talking about their next platform, even though they, you know, you know, Shiota says, hey, look, uh, we, we've got nothing, we, we don't really want to talk about the next generation platform, right? Like, yeah, yeah, it's a thing, but we don't really want to talk about it right now. Yeah, we integrate our hardware and software together and Nintendo accounts. And that's all fine and dandy, but it really feels like they don't really want to talk about it, but they are being a bit more forthcoming. So literally three different Nintendo employees at this Q&A were a bit forthcoming on responding to questions that dealt with next generation hardware that definitely feels like one, Nintendo's obviously really far along in developing that hardware, and two, that Nintendo might be willing to talk about this maybe at some point in 2023. I, hey guys, you guys, you know, this is my interpretation. You guys might have your own interpretation. Of course, I'm very interested in hearing what your interpretation is. So why don't you go click clack down in the comments and let me know. I'd also appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. That would just be swell. I think we'll just give everyone free cookies if they do that, right? Like you get, you subscribe, free cookies. You subscribe, free cookies. You like the video, free cookies. You comment, free cookies for everyone. <laughs> Something like that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rebel Jance, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.